Hello guys and welcome to Samantha's Kitchen and um, I said that we'll be doing two videos today well this is the second video that I'll be doing uh, but as I said in my previous one it would be posted the following week uh, now this is a Spanish dish it's a, an oven dish um, or a hot pot dish and it's from the region of northern Spain and typically you'd use pork for this but I really like it with um, a, a mince and without further ado let us get on with the ingredients so I am going to be using um, Neutrale mince uh, 400 grams for this dish we are then going to move on and it doesn't have loads of vegetables in this dish but it, it is it's really flavorful and lovely so we've got a cupful of sliced mushrooms, we've got one celery, we've got one medium onion, finely chopped, and half a lemon, followed by the herbs and the wonderful spices. So we have here, we have two teaspoons of sweet paprika, we have one and a half teaspoons of mild chili powder, we have one teaspoon of turmeric, we have a quarter of a teaspoon of saffron. We have two teaspoons of oregano. Then we have two teaspoons of garlic and we also have three garlic cloves. These are quite big, chopped. Underneath the herbs, we've got one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. We have a vegetable stock cube and we have a quarter of a cupful of parsley and the equivalent of one uh, tablespoon of dill, finely chopped. And what's good about this dish, there's no oil in it. For those who are on diets and who are co uh, conscious of this, um, there is no oil whatsoever. Forgot to mention as well, we will be adding some chopped tomatoes so let us get going so so this is a low and slow dish um, if you were using a normal mince you would need to brown your mince first um, I also forgot to mention that we would be needing some black pepper so I will add my black pepper now It's so nice to have a pepper mill that works. It really is. So I'm adding a good um, heat tablespoon here of black pepper. And then we will add our chopped tomatoes into this, like so. And we will keep this to one side because we will be filling um, to about here uh, with water. Um, so we'll keep this to one side, no point using um, cups when you don't need to, when there's a perfectly good tin. So we'll add our herbs and our spices now to the dish, making sure we get them all in. It's a, it's a beautiful dish is this, it's lovely with rice um, and as I say you can put it in um, and it's a couple of hours later, it's done. We will add our uh, mince now. So what I'm gonna do with this mince is I'm gonna add this mince and then I'm gonna break it up before I add the vegetables in it. Okay, as I say, because it's vegan, I don't need to cook it beforehand made with peas, um, all goodness, all, all vegetables, so I don't need to worry about anything like that. If you were using meat or if you were using pork, uh, which is more traditional, you'd use pork and you would add some beans, you'd have haricot beans and red kidney beans, um, but we're not today, we're making um, a hearty uh, beef mince recreation of this dish. We're going to add our onions now and our celery with mushrooms and then finally we will add our half a lemon 
like so it is lovely with rice it's also really nice with couscous as well if you like couscous um, it's nice with pasta actually um, yeah you can have it with pretty much anything and we'll give this a good stir around now nice and stir around now all these vegetables will cook down and you'll have um, a nice sauce but we're going to add a little bit more water to this dish to make a more flavorful sauce so i've just filled um the tin that had the chopped tomatoes in i've just filled it um about two thirds actually and we'll give this a good stir around and we will cook this very low very slow for three to four hours i'm going to put it on gas mark 140 um, and then we'll come back in um, a couple of hours and then we turn uh, we will turn it up then um, so yeah i'll see you in a few hours time okay it has had about an hour and a half two hours um, and this is what it's looking like at this moment in time everything's reducing nicely we're getting a nice oh nearly burnt myself then getting a nice gravy um well a sauce to uh to accompany that beautiful rice or couscous depending upon whatever you want so yeah we will give it another hour and a half two hours and then it'll be done um i'm going to turn it up to 180 um for the last half an hour um, but the next time you'll see it, I will be plating this beautiful thing up. Okay, it is done. <gasps> Look at this. How beautiful is this? Oh my goodness. It smells amazing. Oh, look at this. So rich. So beautiful. A beautiful northern Spanish dish. I think it's time to serve and I'm serving it with some beautiful couscous and cauliflower if you like this video please like and subscribe and hit that notification button and stay safe everyone bye